I'm the Gentleman Wake, and this is a deck preview spotlight of the Latin Quarter playing cards from Doc's Playing Card Company. Make sure to stay all the way to the end of this video for a chance to win a deck of Latin Quarter playing cards directly from me. And remember, for the best in content aimed at playing cards enthusiasts, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Probably the most famous Latin Quarter in the world is in the City of Lights, Paris, France. It got its name way back in the Middle Ages from the widespread use of the Latin language, spoken in the area just a few blocks southwest from the Cathedral Notre Dame, where the University of Paris is now located. Later on, the term took a transoceanic trip, presumably on the lips of early French Canadian settlers, and came to be associated with the neighborhood surrounding some educational establishments that took residence in the city of Montreal, including the University of Montreal. The Latin quarters of both Paris and Montreal are lively and atmospheric and full of theaters and boutiques and bistros. However, how the term came to be associated with casinos is probably due to the proliferation of gaming establishments within the Canadian province of Quebec. Eventually, the term migrated south across the American border when, as the story goes, an underground casino in Lexington, Kentucky took on the name Latin Quarter. Look, all of this is a roundabout explanation that brings us full circle to these cards. The Latin Quarter playing cards represent a foray into casino-style decks from Doc's Playing Cards, who had previously concentrated on decks better suited to cardistry. The Latin Quarter deck comes packaged in a gorgeous and intricate tuck box printed by Clove Street Press, predominantly in gold foil ink with red foil details on a premium matte black soft touch cardstock. The front of the box features the Latin Quarter branding, a concave banner resting over a nice LQ monogram. The the monogram sits within a golden spoked wheel and the design is topped with a crown. The words casino and lounge at either side. At the bottom there's text that reads Lexington, Kentucky, a reference to the underground casino mentioned before. The entire design is embedded within a tangle of gold foil scrollwork surrounded by a gold foil frame. At the bottom is a small circle with a gold fleur-de-lis, a homage perhaps to the deck title's French beginnings. The fleur de lis is of course a famous iconographic symbol meant to represent a three petal stylization of a lily. It's often associated with Catholic Christian symbolism and of course, more famously perhaps, the French monarchy with appearances on the royal crests of France dating back almost 1700 years. Of course, it's also found on the flag of the province of Quebec and it can also be seen on the uniforms of the NHL team, the Quebec Nordiques. The sides of the box reveal some additional fleur-de-lis in addition to the copy premium playing cards made in the USA on one side and on the other made for games of chance and the Latin phrase alea acta est which translated into English means the die is cast. The bottom of the box announces the deck designer, Stark Designs LLC, and the producers, Doc's Playing Cards. The top reads the deck name, and the tuck flap is held in place by a beautiful rectangular seal with ink printed on red. The design echoes the artwork found on the front of the box. The back of the box is a one-to-one -one representation of the design found on the card backs with a few exceptions as we'll see. Here the design is framed in an intricate golden border. Pulling the box open reveals some more fine details on the flaps themselves. The card backs eschew the gold frame in favor of white poker borders that contrast nicely against the golden tangle of scrollwork over black background. In the middle of the backs, the title of the deck appears in both directions, maintaining a two-way design. The fleur-de-lis appear here as well. Included within each deck is a double backer. There's also a playful ad card that promises a guarantee from producer Michael McClure and designer Stark, respectively. It also includes a gambler's creed. Sometimes you win, 
and sometimes you learn. Also included are two identical jokers featuring a staff topped with a jester capped skull. The fleur de lis and the spoked wheel reappear here as well. Because the deck is aimed for gameplay, it makes sense that the spot cards remain easily identifiable, and as such, they are bicycle standard. The courts are traditional bicycle courts as well, with some minor embellishments with the pips derived from the scroll work on the backs and some nice metallic gold ink. The aces are all given some special treatment as well, all of them feature some enlarged pips with scroll work embellishments within, and in the case of the hearts and clubs, another appearance of the fleur de lis. The ace of diamonds includes the LQ monogram in the center pip, and the ace of spades is the most attractive card in the deck with a nice large spade pip with a crown in the center and the latin quarter branding above. As far as handling is concerned, the deck is printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their premium crushed stock, and as such it handles magnificently. Springs, fans, and flourishes are easy and snappy. The deck seems to be modern cut, although it farrows from both sides well enough. The Latin Quarter playing cards are still as yet unreleased officially, although thanks to the sponsor of this preview, Michael McClure and Doc's playing cards, I was able to get my hands on them for this video. The deck is slated to go live via Kickstarter on December 2nd. There are a few other items also available through the campaign, including some very nice glossy black casino dice and a branded ceramic poker chipset in colors and denominations typically associated with poker tournaments, which is, of course, a very nice touch. If you want a chance to win a deck of these cards directly from me, here's what you have to do. One, like this video. Two, be a subscriber to this channel. And three, comment below and let me know which deck you'd like to see me review right here. To check out another great episode dedicated to casino decks, check out the video that will appear right here. I even got to handle an original Jerry's Nugget Casino deck at Art of Play. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been The Gentleman Wake. See you next time.